Hey guys, Micah here with Tati California and today we're discussing sling work and how to set up your sling properly. So for the longest time, I was a single point sling guy. You couldn't talk me out of it. I thought it was the best way to do it and I had some really good reasons, but I was hesitant to accept that two point sling uh, might be better for me or the setup I'm using. Long story short, taking classes with really good instructors, competent instructors really helped me kind of round out my opinion. I'm not gonna say I'm a two point sling guy, and I'm certainly not gonna say I'm a one point sling guy. Instead, I'm gonna say, I'm always gonna sling my rifle if I can help it, but how I sling it is kind of dependent on what is expedient or necessary for me in that particular situation with that particular firearm. Now, as you can see here, I've got a full length 16 inch AR-15. This is a Daniel Defense ddm 4 v 9 so it's a 16 inch and it's got a 15 inch quad rail. Now what you're seeing here is a two point sling configured in as far apart as the contact points can get, meaning all the way to the front and all the way to the rear. And then what I've done is instead of connecting this to the left side of the stock, it has come up and around to the right side of the stock since I'm a right handed shooter. Now the pros of setting up a two point sling with the points of contact as far away from each other is comfort. Instead of the gun feeling like it is hanging over your shoulder and constantly pulling you down. With the points of contact so far apart, it actually feels like the gun is being pulled into my body. It feels like the sling and the gun, if I can explain it in any way, are actually sandwiching me. And now the weight of the rifle is no longer pulling me down, but rather it is squeezing up against my body. So I feel like I'm not carrying the rifle, the rifle's kind of hugging me and it's the rifles and sling job to hold on to me, if that makes any sense at all. That's kind of what it feels like. It's very comfortable. You could carry a rifle like this for hours on end and it would do the minimal amount amount of fatiguing to you, just understand that there are some cons. The cons are getting this gun into the fight quickly. So from here, I need an adjustable sling. I have this sling cinched down all the way. Uh, this is as far as I can get it off my body. And um, what I would need to do is have an adjustable sling like this. This is the Magpul MS4 sling. I would grab the adjustment point and yank it back in order to bring the rifle up. So now that I have the rifle up, I can either A, decide to kind of swim out of my sling. And this is where you'll see a lot of people with two point slings um, really kind of finesse it. And by finesse, I just mean, you won't even realize you're doing it after a while. So again, let's do that again. The sling is cinched all the way down. The gun is nice and tight. And if someone called threat, my hand would go to the grip. My left hand would go to the sling adjustment and yank it as I come out. Once I've determined that I really need to fight from this position, I can swim out of the sling if I need to, and now it's just kind of hanging over my neck. The gun sits a lot lower, but at least it's still attached to me, and I can really manipulate this rifle uh, from either side, doing many different uh, dynamic movements, bring it in a high ready, low ready, do reloads, uh, because there's a lot of slack out, and it's just kind of, it's really not resting on me. Now I have to control the rifle. So that's one way to get in and out of the sling. Another way to get out of a two point sling quickly is to just swim out of it initially. So this would require just, I, the way I've been taught is just to blade my left hand and bring it down through the opening between the sling and the rifle and then swim my shoulder underneath that. So again, it's just blading my hand, bringing it straight down and swimming my shoulder out, coming up to the fore end of the gun. And now I have a, a good, a solid control over the weapon and I didn't have to adjust my sling. So it's kind of one less step. So, the, so if I was in a fight for my life and this was really in a, a position where it's not really ready, let's be honest, this is not a really good ready position for the rifle. I can just swim out of it quickly and fight. Now, the second we bring the points of contact in, the gun wants to hang more over our shoulder. This means while I might have a little bit less comfort, the gun might be a little bit more readily accessible from the two point configuration. So I'm gonna take my sling out from the furthest most position that it's mounted to the front of the rail and bring it all the way to the back of the rail, just in front of the receivers. You can see immediately the gun wants to hang low and if I push it, it gives. This is less control, but I'm sacrificing control for an expedient gun for a fight if I'm expecting it or not expecting it. So if the gun was here, see again, it's still wanting to travel over my shoulder, but if it's here, I can still bring it up. I, ha I have it as tight as it can be, and it's, it's, it's pretty snug. 
but I can still bring it up and at least fire it from my right shoulder. Now my left shoulder, it's kind of tough. See how it wants to choke me. I'd want to take some slack out so I wouldn't have to do that or even bring it over here. It's going to choke me even more. So you want to be aware of that. Be aware of your sling and how to, how to manage it. And again, one of the easiest ways to do that is just slip out of it. And now nothing's choking me. I can manipulate the firearm as much as I need to. Now let's talk about single point configurations. Uh, this is pretty much one of the best slings because it's so, uh, adaptable. If I plug it into itself over here, bam, now I have a one point sling. Single point slings, no one will argue, are the fastest way to get the gun into the fight because it only has one point to pivot from. I can manipulate this rifle from a low ready to a high ready, out to my right shoulder, over to my left shoulder, because it's only one pivot point. So this gun wants to swim around. It wants to move, okay? Uh, it's very free. And when you run a one point, even if you bring it down to the, uh, the where you're kind of, you know, tucking it in underneath your armpit, below your pec, your pec. Uh, this is a good place to do a reload, manage things, uh, assess what's going on, maybe dial your optics. This is a position you use a lot, and with a one-point sling, it's real easy to get into this position, and I, I don't have any excess coming up over here impeding my ability to manipulate things, whether I need to hit my bull catch, pull my magazine out, uh, whatever it is. So, uh, again, one-point sling is the most adaptable for you and your gun, but you have to remember that this is not the most comfortable. In fact, the gun can really swivel uh, like a pendulum off this single point. So you want to be really aware of that. Um, it, it's, it's a great place to fight from, but it's not a great place to manage the gun from. So there you have it. You've got your single point versus your two point. Find out what works best for you and understand the pros and cons of both. If you like this video, please click like down below and subscribe to this channel for more gun reviews, training, and gun news. Also, we are a brand ambassador with Optics Planet, so use the code TCA5 for 5% off your entire order over there. Check us out on Facebook slash Tactic California, Instagram at Tactic California underscore, and Patreon.com slash Tactic California. I'm Michael with Tactic California. Thanks for watching.